Biologists from the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission were flying a whale survey near the Georgia-Florida border on February 24th when they spotted a freshly dead humpback whale 26 miles east of Cumberland Island, Georgia. That afternoon, they boated to the carcass and attached a satellite tracking buoy with a cable around the flipper. This would allow us to track where the carcass drifted and perhaps tow it to shore for a necropsy to find out how it died. Photographs of the carcass confirmed it was the same one-year-old whale that was seen in skinny and sickly condition several times off of Georgia and Florida this winter. In fact, it was seen alive just four days prior. The next day, on February the 25th, a whale survey team from Sea to Shore Alliance and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration spotted the carcass again. This time there was a long slick of blood and oil trailing from the carcass and 10 or more sharks feeding on it, including a large white shark approximately 12 feet long. The following day, biologists from the Georgia Wildlife Resources Division boated to the location with cameras, including an underwater camera mounted on a pole. We wanted to search for clues as to how the whale died. We know that this whale had been entangled in fishing net when it was spotted off of Massachusetts last summer, and a different humpback whale was found dead off of Florida this winter from apparent vessel collision. Unfortunately for us, the whale was so badly scavenged by sharks that the cause of death was impossible to determine. When we arrived, there were two sharks actively feeding on the carcass. This white shark was approximately 9 to 10 feet long. This tiger shark was probably six to eight feet long. Two days later, on February the 28th, the Florida team found the carcass again. This was all that remained, just two flippers and some white blubbery tissue, still being scavenged by sharks. On March 1st, the satellite tracker stopped transmitting, 18 miles east of Amelia Island, Florida, possibly because the remains sank to the bottom. In less than five days, sharks had reduced a 28-foot-long whale to mere scraps. <laughs> 